Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this one, what we're going to be doing is looking at this spreadsheet here and what we're going to be doing is showing how to convert these scores into letter grades. So I'm basically assigning letter grades to numbers in Microsoft Excel using this student exam score spreadsheet. Before I continue, please like, subscribe and share. So um, let's just imagine you've got your spreadsheet of pupils here, first name, surname, and in column C, you've got the score, basically what they've scored out of 100 in an examination they've done or whatever you've whatever systems you use in your organization. In column D, we want to assign a letter grade um, to that corresponding number score. And here, we've got a lookup template showing the grade boundary. So for example, if a pupil scored between 0 and 49, the grade should be F, 50 to 69D, so on and so forth. And remember, you can change this to whatever system you use in your school. So if you don't use number grades, you, you um, sorry, letter grades, you use numbers, you can replace those with numbers. Or if you use working at, working below, you can use that. If you use um, unsatisfactory, satisfactory, average, you can change it to that as well. So I'm going to, in principle, show you how to convert these numbers into letter grades using these grade boundaries here, using a VLOOK, a VLOOKUP um, function in Excel. So the first thing you need to do is go over to this lookup table and what we're going to be doing is adding another column in between score and grade. So you, um, click on H so all that column's been selected right click go to insert so we can add a new column there now what we're going to be doing is we're going to ask excel to bring back the lower band score from each of these bands here so for example between 0 and 49 we want to type in 0 because that's the lowest band score now we're going to do the same in all the other cells but instead of doing it manually click on the next cell and we want to use Control and E on our keyboards. So we're going to type in Control and E, and it's going to automatically bring back the lower band scores from each of the corresponding ranges here. So half of the job's done, really. Now we're going to go over back to the grade cell where we want it to assign the letter grade based on what they've scored out of 100. So this first pupil scored 22, and we know for a fact um, 22 is between 0 and 49, and what we should bring back is the grade F. But we're going to use a function VLOOKUP to do this, and we're going to write a formula. So the first thing we do when we do a formula is equals, then we're going to type in VLOOKUP, and we can see VLOOKUP is now shown in the options here. We double click on that. And what it does, once you've double clicked on it, it just gives you a bit of a hint on what a process to follow when writing this formula here. So VLOOKUP, bracket open, and it's asking for what is the lookup value. So the lookup value is the value we want um, Excel to look up in this table here. So the lookup value would be this 22 number here. So because that's the score they scored in the exam. Click on that. Then it's comma. And we're just going to follow this hint here or this process here. So now it's asking, what's the table array? Where are we looking up this 22 value? We're looking it up in here. So what I want to do is highlight this table from here. No, not from here. From here to here. Yeah, so we're going to be looking it up in here. Okay. Now, before we move on, um, what I'm going to do is go back to this array here, click on the first cell and um, put a dollar sign and go to the next bit, put a dollar sign and I'll, I'll explain what the dollars are in a moment. Click on the next one, dollar and dollar there. Go to the end of the seven and then put a comma. The reason I put a dollar sign before the letters and the numbers is because we want it to always highlight this table array um, in all the cells at every single time. Okay, so it's not going to veer off and choose a different array. We're, we're going to always choose the same array. Now, it's, the next bit is asking column index number. So basically, what um, column 
do you or what value in the column do you want it to bring back so this table has two columns one two we want it to bring back column the values in column two so we just type in number two and then we um, do close brackets and then click on enter and we know now 22 is a between 0 and 49 we should bring back F which it has done now before you type in the formula in manually in the other cells go back to the first cell where you put the formula in and then go to the bottom right hand corner of the cell and just double click and what we can see now that formula has been copied into the other cell so it's just saved you a lot of time trying to put that formula in manually and you can see here um, the corresponding grades let's choose a student so this Troy Arnold here scored 98 in the exam if we go over to the grade boundary spread um, table here we know 98 is between 95 and 100 it should come back with an A star which it has done go to a diff different students um, Car um, Carolyn Harmon scored 55 go back here it's between 50 and 69 should give back a D which it has done here one more and uh, Whoopi will write here scored 31 between it's between 0 and 49 should bring back an F which it has done and for GDPR just a bit of a disclaimer these names are not real names I used generatedata.com to generate these names so if you're worried about any GDPR issues don't be because I use generatedata.com to generate these names for the purpose of this video so that's really a quick and easy video showing you how to assign letter grades to number values in Microsoft Excel and this could be used in principle in any form of spreadsheet or any data which you are using in your organization I hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share